I'm Timothy, your host for Precision Assistance. Today, we're going to assist you in installing a maintenance kit for the HP LaserJet 4200. Now, anytime during this video, if you have any questions regarding this install, or if you'd like to purchase the kit and the tools that are required, please feel free to give us a call at 1-800-323-9523 or visit us online at precisionroller.com. Stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Precision Assistance. The HP LaserJet 4200 was introduced of November of 2002. Now at some point you may have thought, why should I purchase a maintenance kit or when should I? Well, your printer will indicate on the display when to install a new maintenance kit which will be after every 200,000 pages printed. While this is a great recommendation, the time to install a new maintenance kit will vary depending on your printing conditions. Now the HP LaserJet 4200 maintenance kit includes one fuser unit, one transfer roller, one transfer roller tool, one separation roller, and six rollers for all other trays. Please note, some kits may contain more or less rollers. We are only going to use two of the rollers for this install. The tools that are required for this install are one flat blade or standard screwdriver and one pair of latex gloves. Turn the printer off and unplug the power cord. Caution, if you've been using the printer, the fuser section may be hot. Please allow the fuser to cool for at least 30 minutes before removing it. Remove the optional duplexer if it is installed by pulling it straight out. Open the rear output bin. Then use a standard screwdriver to squeeze the hinge pin to the right out of its mounting hole. Then swing the output bin until the right hinge pin is released, then remove the output bin. Remove the fuser by squeezing the two blue fuser release tabs and then pull the fuser straight out of the printer. Install the new fuser by pushing it firmly into the printer until the blue levers on both sides click into place. Install the output bin. Insert the right hinge pin into the hole inside the chassis. Next, push the left side of the output bin into the right side of the printer's chassis. Then close the output bin. Open the control panel door and tray one. Firmly grasp the printer cartridge and pull it up and out of the printer. Use the plastic transfer roller tool, there's a hook end on there, to slightly lift the left end of the metal shaft upward. Then slide the transfer roller to the left and remove it from the printer. Caution! Do not touch the replacement transfer roller with bare hands. Use latex gloves and handle the roller by the ends. Make sure the black collar on the left side is oriented properly with the open end down. Install the new transfer roller by sliding the right side into place. Then snap the left side with the gear into place. Remove the front accessory panel by pulling it straight out. Locate the pickup roller at the center of the tray. Release the roller by sliding apart the two latches located on each side of the pickup roller. Then lift the roller out of the opening. Place the new pickup roller into the empty slot 
until the roller snaps into place. Insert the front accessory cover, install the printer cartridge, and close the tray one and the top cover. Remove the paper tray from the printer. Then, locate the feed roller, then remove it by pinching the blue lock tab on the roller. If you purchase the optional paper pickup roller, this is the easiest time to install it. The paper pickup roller is not included in the maintenance kit. However, to keep your printer working its best, it is highly recommended to replace it on the same schedule. Remove the old paper pickup roller by pinching the white tab on the roller and then sliding it off the shaft. Slide the new roller into the shaft and rotate it until it locks into place. Slide the new feed roller into the shaft and rotate it until it locks into place. Install the tray 2 bin into the printer and slide it halfway in. Open the cover next to the separation roller by rotating it upward. Remove the roller by pinching the blue tab and sliding it off. Slide the replacement roller in until the roller snaps into place. Then close the tray 2 bin. Plug the power cord into the printer and turn the printer on. When the message XXX and B appears, press and hold the check mark button until all three control panel lights turn on and stay on. Release the check mark button, press the up arrow until new maintenance kit appears, and then press the check mark button. Thanks for watching this instructional video on how to install a maintenance kit for the HP LaserJet 4200. The tools that are required and the maintenance kit are available through PrecisionRoller.com. There's a link inside the description of this video if you would like to purchase this kit or to visit our website. Feel free to subscribe to us and also if you would like to watch our previous video, click here. I'm Timothy for Precision Assistance and you've just been assisted. Precision Assistance.